a species which has been struggling for a number of reasons, primarily conflict with people, and as such, these guys are endangered in the wild. And unfortunately, just recently, they were upgraded from vulnerable to threatened with extinction. So, in the wild, you can find two small populations on the islands of Brinca and Flores, and then the biggest population can be found on Komodo Island in the Komodo National now this guy, he is quite large, but he is nowhere near fully grown. Potentially these species, the large males, could get up to around 100 kilos. And in their home, they are the biggest, baddest predator around. They are taking down fully grown buffalo and pigs, goats, deer, things like that. And today we've got a bit of a chunk of pig for him to have a bit of a go on. And Aiden, he's going to drag that around, basically looking like a bit of a struggling pig. Aiden, I don't mean you, I mean the pig on the ground, you're right. Anyway, Aiden's going to have a chat about us and show us just what he's doing here in Nago. That's exactly right guys, so out in the wild, Komodos, they're in fish hunters. What they'll do is, they'll be mining on the edge of game trails, and then they'll wait for, like Hamish was saying, a buffalo or a prey item, it's going to be a bit tight on there, okay. So come along that trail, they'll jump out, they'll grab him. Now in Nago's head here, he's probably got about yeah, 50 to 60 tiny little razor sharp teeth. Now they're actually serrated, so when he grabs a hold of that animal, they actually have a very primitive venom gland that does enable them to envenomate their prey. And basically, it's an anticoagulant. So that animal is then going to go away, and basically, it's going to bleed and get infected. Once that animal does pass away, that's when these guys go to work. They use those teeth, and like you can see here, he grabs a hold of it right there. And then he uses a little bit of a scissor motion and basically pulls apart chunks of meat and swallows it down whole. Now these guys, they are very similar to the monitors that we do find here in Australia. I think Hamish is going to tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so these guys, they are known scientifically as Varanus komodoensis. And Varanus is the genus of this species. Now, that genus is quite broad and it encompasses a huge number of animals, even found right here in Australia. Your common garden variety, Goanna, which you guys may be familiar with, also known as the monitors, these guys are in the same genus. So these guys from the largest species of lizard on planet Earth, all the way down to tiny, tiny little animals found throughout Australia, as well as our lace monitors here in Southeast Queensland. It's an absolutely incredible group of animals and really one of the apex predators in terms of lizards. You've got a lot of lizards who are vegetarians or herbivores if you want to be technical, but these guys are proper predators. Now, obviously in Australia, most of our lizards are not this size. We do have a few big ones, but we used to have the biggest, the Megalania. The Megalania was actually even larger than Komodo's, reaching around five or six metres long. That guy was unfortunately extinct. He was around quite a while ago, but bloody hell, I would have loved to see him. But I'm so happy that we still have the Komodo dragon because they are an absolutely awesome apex predator. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing our Komodo out here today. Have a great day.